Greetings. This is Dr. James Hayes Bohannon, Professor of Geography at Bridgewater State University, which you might already know if you're watching this video because we're just sending it to um, members of the department and other students who may be interested in a special opportunity we're having, uh, we're offering in the fall of 2023 semester. This is a chance to earn a little credit for something that a lot of students have done in our department in the past, and that is to participate in Nestfall. Nestfall is the oldest association of geographers in North America. It stands for the New England and St. Lawrence Valley Geographical Society. Its 101st annual meeting is going to be taking place in Portland, Maine in October of 2023. We have put the dates for the event itself and for some pre-conference uh, sessions we're gonna have on campus. We've put all that into the schedule of classes. If you do end up signing up for this class, keep alert for emails in case any of that needs to change. Our hosts up in Portland have not put the dates in stone yet, but we're working with the best information we have. And what's really exciting is this is an annual meeting that has taken place over the past 100 years. This will be the 101st annual meeting of the New England and St. Lawrence Valley Geographical Society, as the name implies. This is group of geography departments from all over the New England states and the nearby provinces of southeastern Canada, um, the Maritimes and the St. Lawrence Valley. And um, it's a lot of fun every fall. This is a very quick conference that takes place and students who go on this really enjoy it. And we've created this class as a way to formalize the process of getting involved. Um, this is a one credit course. It does not fulfill any specific geograph uh, geography department um, you know, check boxes, but it does provide you with one academic credit. And if you um, sign up for it, we would uh, be requiring you to participate fully in the conference, which means attending our pre-conference sessions, uh, participating in the World Geography Bowl, and presenting some piece of geographic research. The geographic research would be a paper presentation, something you might otherwise present on campus at one of our symposia or at a national conference on undergraduate research. It could be any work that you've developed that you've not presented elsewhere in this exact form. It could be building on something you presented in the 2022-23 academic year. It could be building on a project you did in one of your classes last year, or it could be a whole piece of new research you're considering. Maybe you're thinking about an honors thesis. So some piece of research that you can present on its own in the form of a what we call a paper, which would be an oral presentation, or a poster, which is something you would print, stand next to, and answer questions about during the conference. The World Geography Bowl is kind of like a jeopardy of geography. It is a lot of fun where every um, participating department from New England and Southeast Canada sends a group of students to participate in panels of four at a time through several sessions. It has the, the lockout light buttons, just like um, the Jeopardy show. And it's, it's a quiz show, but not just trivia, some kind of thoughtful geography questions. Um, so the conference itself starts on Friday evening. There is the Geography Bowl then. So we would leave campus here in Bridgewater around midday Friday, get up there, explore just a little bit, settle in, participate in the uh, with the other students, have pizza with the other students. That's something that always happens. Stacks of pizzas get wheeled in from somewhere. And then Saturday during the day, present your research. Saturday later in the day and the first part of the day Sunday, we would do a little exploration around Portland. If you've been to Portland, you already know this is a fantastic city to explore. If you haven't been there, you're in for a real treat. It's uh, not shown quite here, but it's on the water. I'm a very nautical person, so there would definitely be some exploration of the waterfront, maybe even a boat ride involved. This is a conference. It does have some expenses. We're going to be doing our best to get a lot of those expenses covered, um, and we'll keep the cost down as much as we can. We, um, If you have been to Portland before, you might be wondering, why would I go back Traveling with geographers, not just myself, but some of the other members of the department, is always a little bit different, it provides a little bit different insight into places. And that's one reason we really want to get uh, get a group going um, this year. And I will be spending a little bit of my time this summer. I've, I've visited Portland twice in the past. 
uh, when my wife, Bridgewater State University librarian, Pamela Hayes Bohannon, when she has had conferences in Portland, I've tagged along and just done geography things, exploring around, especially the coffee shops, the waterfront, various things. Um, and this summer, we're going to go up and visit uh, with a friend of mine who is the editor of the local newspaper. And as such, he must, I don't know what he knows, but he knows a lot. So we're going to be getting some insight from him as to what are the best places to visit. When you sign up for this class, Geography 296, um, I think it might ask for your permission. So you can seek that either from me by email, just put geog296 in an email to me, jhaysbo at bridgew.edu, or you might be able to get um, Kira Lawler, Lawler in our uh, department office. Uh, she might be able to clear you as well. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, ask any of the geography faculty, especially me, and we will tell you what you know, what we know, and we look forward to seeing you in this new class.